Welcome into NBC2. We're joined now by the defending NASCAR Cup Series champion, Joey Logano. He's in Daytona to kick off the 2019 season. And Joey, you won your first championship. It's only three months ago. Now you're back. People are calling you champ. How does that feel? How different is it? We're following breaking news out of Naples where lightning hit an apartment at the Emerald Woods Complex. So this is just off US 41 on Vanderbilt Beach Road. We're told that one of the apartments caught fire. We have a crew on scene and we're trying to gather more information right now. We have more breaking news. Lee County deputies just raided a home on Broadway. Inside, investigators found deadly drugs and now seven people are detained outside the home. Let's bring in NBC2 anchor Christina Mendez, who's bringing us close up to the scene. Christina, what are you learning? All right, so you're just listening into a press conference with the Cape Coral Police Department. The uh, police chief, Dave Newland, is there along with the Lee County Superintendent, Greg Atkins. And essentially, if you're listening in, the big takeaway here is education for parents and children. If you're a parent watching at home, make sure to sit your child down and let them know that these threats are very real and that this is not a joke. It's not funny at all. These are real lives at stake. That's since the beginning of their campaign to kind of stop all of this. Yeah, and if, if we shrink the timeline even more, 15 threats in just the first 12 days of February. So this is certainly a problem. I'm being told that they're wrapping this up right now. So the dog had a rope tied around his neck so tight that it was actually embedded in his skin and it had to be surgically removed. So we are learning Salvador Pabajal has been charged with animal cruelty in this case, but this is just one of a few cases that we've seen in yeah. the last couple of weeks. Man, what a scene in Fort Lauderdale right now. Roger Stone making his first comment since being arrested at his Fort Lauderdale home this morning at about 6 a.m. Let's start with who Roger Stone is. He's a longtime political consultant, has ties with President Trump. He's accused of conspiring with WikiLeaks to release information about Hillary Clinton, the charges against him, Instruction, false statements, and witness tampering. He did say he will not testify against President Trump. He's now the sixth person involved in the Trump campaign to be arrested. But man, he, he's putting his arms up as he's coming out of the courtroom. It was a crazy uh, scene there. The, the that right there, the press conference summarizing the horrible events that happened today in Sebring, where NBC2 is confirming that five people, unfortunately, were killed in a hostage situation at the Sun Trust Bank in Sebring. It began just after noon today. There will be another press conference at 11 o'clock tomorrow with more details, but once again, the tragic news that we're learning. Five people have been killed. The shooter has been taken into custody. Police saying there that Zephon Zaber, a 21-year-old man who lives in Sebring, is responsible for committing those crimes. All right, we're going to interrupt that story for some breaking news right now. We are getting a feed from a press conference at the Lee County Sheriff's Office. They're talking about an arrest that has been made in connection to a threat at North Fort Myers High School. This is Lee County Sheriff Carmine Marcino. Let's take a listen in. Two is waiting on a press conference from the Lee County Sheriff's Office. Employees at the Chico's headquarters on Metro Parkway are in lockdown right now after a threat of an active shooter is made. The Lee County Sheriff's Office confirming it appears to be a hoax, and we're set to learn more as that press conference should begin soon. Thank you very much. So important takeaways from what you need to know. Shortly after 11 o'clock, the Lee County Sheriff's Office got a call from a security guard at the Chico's headquarters on Metro Parkway in Fort Myers saying that there was an active shooter. They are saying that that is a hoax, and they say there are no injuries, but they've also said they haven't located a threat. And Brenna, before we let you go, you've been on scene for a little bit now. Just explain, are, are people calm? Is there a sense of, of panic in the air there? What are you seeing? Amanda, I know that you're always talking about your dog, and I'm wondering, did you send any pictures into Florida Weekly? Because you guys are, are kind of profiling some cute pups. Yeah, Peter, well, the ground that I'm standing on right now is privately owned, but that could soon change. Lee County was clear. They are not in direct negotiations to buy Hertz Arena. What they are doing is seeing what that deal might look like for the county, and part of that deal could include Florida Gulf Coast University. Well, guess what? You're going to have to use your imagination. As far back as I can remember, I've always wanted to be a teacher. Show me some disco. In Mrs. Caudell's kindergarten class at Heights Elementary, you'll see five and six-year-old kids loving learning. The minute they walk down that hallway, it's like their faces, when they see me, their faces just light up. And that's what gives me the energy. How many are in each group, Jaleel? The kids will do whatever Miss Caudell asks because of the time that she's put in to them, not from just the learning, but just for getting to know those students. And not every student is the same. If you 
take the time and effort and it takes time and it takes effort. And sometimes it could be halfway through the year before you feel like, oh, I totally get this child now. But if you put that time and effort, the behavior problems, the classroom management becomes effortless. All right, so right now we're in the middle of a brain break. I think I'm messing this up more than anyone in the class, but this is actually a learning strategy so that these kids are more focused when they're done with their brain break. This is great. They need movement. They cannot sit for long periods of time. It's just not... Knees together. It's not good for them. Yeah. It's not... Their brains aren't going to be at their best. We should do these at work. Brain breaks. It is so key for those kids to be up and moving, being part of their learning, instead of just sitting there and listening. And maybe most important is the passion and love that Miss Caudell brings to work... Trucker cheer! ...every single day. I still can't imagine doing anything else. I mean, this is home. Like when I walk into school, it's home. Tell me, everyone. Rose the pictures. What do pictures do? Most of it is just a relationship she builds with her kids. Um, so much excitement goes into the learning in this classroom. Drawing a picture to go with my story. It, it's just, it's something that when I lay my head on the pillow at night, I thank God that um, I was, that I'm able to do this, that I have a gift that it's that that's what my gift is is to help these kids every day. Nate Foy, NBC2.